Hello everybody and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm so excited to get started with you because I have some fun projects happening this week. It is a week of upcycling. <laughs> That's what I will title this. <laughs> but anyway, um, I have some stuff I want to upcycle this week with you and I thought that would be a fun like main topic. I have one round of stuff coming from Saks off Fifth Avenue which is like Saks Fifth Avenue's Nordstrom Rack and I, they sent me an email saying that their clearance was like down to 75% off and they, they had so many basics in it so I just stocked up. So I was just going to share with you what I got. There's two packages here. I'm just waiting on one more and then we'll unbox those together. It's torture. Honestly it's torture having these things sitting there unopened <laughs> just so I can sit here and share them with you but it's something for me to look forward to. We're gonna make banana muffins. I need to make a banana breakfast treat of some sort. I have two bananas that are gonna go bad. I've got Return of the Mac stuck in my head. Alright, these are ready to go in the oven for about eight minutes. I'll link the uh, exact recipe I'm doing down below. Look at how good these turned out. Wow. When you're trying to cool things off, you just want to give them some room and don't cover them or else they will get condensation. Like if I put this on top, it would just steam. So you want them to completely cool off before you cover them. I don't think I could expect it to be more perfect. Good morning and welcome back. I just got out of the shower and I have a fresh, I love it when my hair is like freshly blown out and I have all my serums in. I just got notification about my Ipsy icon box, which is Patrick Starr's. A curated box that with the add-ons that I purchased it's almost just like a hair box it's just all hair stuff I got anything I could to help my hair because I'm trying everything in my power to not put extensions back in um, because I love the way my hair feels when I just touch it on my scalp but when I see any girls with cute hair and extensions or photos of myself before with my extensions in Lord help me, <laughs> I get so close to putting them back in. But alas, she will not. She's gonna try, okay? She's gonna try her best. Making no promises, ever. Sienna unglued and Sienna glued back the saga. <laughs> so I came up here because I'm going to unbox some things that I got from Saks. Look at it, it's called Nude Bar. I will put the prices on the screen, but I got like almost one in every color that I needed. There was a brown, chocolate brown bralette with the adjustable strap. So Nude Bar, this brand, everything was in skin tone colors. So it would show women wearing bras that this was their skin tone. It doesn't mean that you have to be of a certain skin tone to be able to order the one that you're getting because this will just look brown on me, but it's really nice if you're looking for the perfect nude for you and your skin tone, because if you think about it, what we call nude isn't very um, broad in the sense of like nude for who? That's nude for me. That's not nude for everyone. So I just like the concept of it. It seems to have undergarments for everybody and they're $4 on freaking, <laughs> they're $4 on Saks off fifth so go get you one. Oh wow so this one's completely that's kind of sexy because it's like mesh so it's more see-through this one feels like it's gonna fit really nicely it almost feels pretty much like the one I have on and this is the exact same one as that last the one I showed you before last good old-fashioned black bra I really hope these fit I'll let you know if they do I love camisoles that have built-in bras because I don't like wearing bras with them and they had this nude one that I can wear under so many things. The bra, built in, adjustable straps, and just such a great quality feeling fabric. I'm gonna wear this so freaking much, you have no idea. I did. I, I hope I got this in black. If I didn't, I might go back on the website because I need, what I need is one in every, every color. And then I have a shirt. 
I just wanted a, another crop top because you guys know I am in my crop top era. What's wrong with crop tops, you know? And now that I have this awesome tattoo I've been working on, I'm excited to start wearing more crop tops. Gosh, I'm glad I got the large and not the XL because this is definitely more oversized and it's going to be a little bit bigger, but I can wear my nude bra underneath it now. And it's the most adorable cottage Cory style linen puffed sleeve shirt by a brand called We Wore What. Um, so Calvin Klein, little hat here. So I have a black straw hat, but I don't have a black like material, felt or fabric material hat in black. And I will love this and wear it all the time. It's very floppy. Look at this beautiful floral little, it's like navy blue and a bunch of different types of flowers, little bouquets. This one I saw actually in the swimsuit section, kind of like, it's like a poolside set. So it's shorts, shorts with this really cool looking top by Nicole Miller, New York. It almost gives that raw cotton look to it. You know what I mean? With that kind of like roughed up edging to it. And then this really adorable pair of shorts to go with it and pockets in the front for your phone. But that's my little haul. An official good morning to you. We're gonna do some tasks today. It's gonna to be fun. It's gonna be good times. I'm so excited. It's a beautiful day. I hope it stays that way. I am hitting the craft store. I want to get some trim to put around two nightgowns that are that are black. That I think they need a more. Um, they just need a trim that matches them better. All I have right now is white, and that's what I put on all these nightgowns. I'm gonna go get changed. We'll reconvene on the way to the craft store. I'm so excited. All right, here's the outfit of the day. Feeling super cute. I really love skirt hikes because they give the body this kind of hourglass shape when they lift the skirt. I don't know, you know, it's that kind of like how salsa skirts are really shapely and then the ruffle on the bottom. I don't know. Something about it just is super cute. I have on this new Calvin Klein floppy hat. I really like it. It's felt really soft. And then the new sunglasses that I just got from the Real Real that are Prada. Okay, we are at the craft store. I'm going to do my very best to only get what I need. I tend to go a little crazy when I come here. Cars parked next to me. I'm at Trader Joe's, so you're gonna have to look up my nose. I'm gonna get uh, dinner for tonight. And then I was thinking the table has those new candles and I really want a bouquet, bouquet, bouquet. I really want a bouquet. <laughs> Why can't I think of how that is pronounced? Bouquet, a bouquet. Are you okay? I'm gonna get a floral arrangement. <laughs> and I was thinking that 
a really pretty white mum would look great on that table with those new candles and the, the new candle holders I have. So I'm going to uh, put together a stunning bouquet. Stunning, stunning, darling, stunning. <laughs> My heart is very sentimental today for some reason. Day one period maybe, but I could cry at anything. I was even listening to Phil Collins' Take Me Home on the way here. I was singing it so loud and just thinking about how grateful and happy I am in my life. <laughs> just really taking a moment to just have some gratitude for that exact moment in time where I was had some groceries, fresh flowers. I had a busy week, busy work week, and just trying to be like thankful in moments that I can find it. But look what I got. Look what I got. Look, look, look at these stunning. Look at these stunning roses. Ah, <sighs> the irony is I have two rose bushes. They just haven't done anything yet, but when they do, I tend to have a lot of yellow roses and I'm trying to have more. I want a variety of roses, so I have different colors all throughout spring and summer, but these are just beautiful. And so I was picturing a, just a big white bouquet just bursting with florals. So I'm gonna do mums and these really beautiful roses and make myself a little bouquet for the table. God, when I tell you how good this hyacinth smells, a pink hyacinth, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I could just sit here and huff this all day. That is so fragrant and so magical. This is so good. I've dropped it like three times in the cart in my little basket that I was carrying. So anyway, I got dinner for tonight. So you do know that when you get produce, you need to soak it in baking soda or get a veggie and fruit wash spray and soak your vegetables and your food. So you just don't want to just rinse them under real quick for two seconds. You want to give them a little bit of a soak from what I understand. So I have been really diligent about soaking my lemons. I have a little thing of tomatoes. I just leave them in this, but this is what I was looking for. They used to have these in ceramic with little holes in the bottom and so you can reuse it. So that way I can buy loose tomatoes and fruits and vegetables and not have to have the plastic. I don't want plastic. I don't want bags. I just don't want a lot of waste. So if I can find one of the ceramic ones that I can reuse, I'll start rinsing my tomatoes in there. But I got this container for strawberries because the thing about it, this is, I don't have to do the bowl thing anymore. This is already set up to where you can Put your strawberries in it and soak them when they're done you can pull this out rinse everything off this is it has an air thing you can open and close depending on what is in it so yeah those are the main things i got i'm going to show you the stuff for the project that i'm going to do with the sewing project but i'll do that upstairs i'm going to get my bouquet put together put all these groceries away and i'll reconvene with you when i'm ready to start my project All right, let's talk nightgowns. So that is the running theme of the week. I already posted a video, it's a short, and it did really well. And it was three nightgowns that I upcycled. I'm gonna show those to you here just so you can see them, but you've probably already seen the video, so I'm gonna do it fairly quick. And this was really long, so I lopped it off, cut it really short, and then I added this trim to the bottom. And I don't have to add the trim. You could technically just cut it because it's not the type of material that's going to run as far as I can tell, but I think it just looks more polished when you give it a little bit of a effort. And then this one is really cute too. And I love the 
little rose flowers these like little buds going across the top this had a broken part like this whole part was ripped so I put that back together with a little hand stitching and this one got the same trim as the other because I just felt like this one matched that same kind of vibe so this got the same color trim but I really want more trim so that when I'm doing these up cycles where I do just shortening the length essentially for my taste uh, when I go around the base of it I just need something to put around the the bottom so it has just some finished look to it this one's really cute it's more of a like cotton material aria again with like little florals these just they remind me of garden dresses like little little walk around in the garden with your tea in the morning kind or you know your coffee grab your coffee and go water the garden in your nightgown <laughs> why not I don't care my neighbors most of my fences are too high for my neighbors to see and if they do hi <laughs> I guess you've seen me in my nightgown I'm sure it's been way worse than that and this one has lacy kind of hem to it I switched this one up I wanted the material to sort of match so see how this is silky and this is silky well this is cotton so I did a more matte finished just regular cotton trim on the bottom of that guy and the ones that I want to upcycle that I, th I felt like needed black this is one of probably my favorite ones as far as the top detail the piping that goes around it this lovely floral black floral applique it's just so pretty and the final one is this black and brown one a little bit different from my florals and my more feminine cottage core <laughs> nightgowns this one's a little more edgy if you will it's different and that's why when I saw it I was like oh I have to have this one it's weird we did find black oh no I forgot I was doing two. Oh no is that gonna be enough why didn't I get four yards just the style and design matches more so we're gonna do this one for sure this was so beautiful look at this look it's got little flowers the best way that i found to do this is grab a dress that you love the length of how it fits you grab that dress and use that as a pattern as to how and where exactly to sorry the shih tzu train is walking over the light go ahead teeny and just try to flatten it as much as you can okay all the folds out as flat as she can be up here too and then take the dress that's the size you like put her on the top and lay the skirt out in the shape that it makes and as you can see when when you spread the skirt out it actually goes kind of in a bell shape I never cut it in a bell shape and that's why I was having so much trouble with like getting it to look the way I wanted it still turned out fine when I was doing it on the mannequin but this truly is like giving me a pattern for the base of how I want it to fit me because then it goes a little bit long in the back and then because I have boobs it lifts the front up and makes it a little bit shorter in the front and it kind of goes draped to a longer back and it's perfect and just go slow that's the best advice I can give, is just take your time. Oh. All right, I'm sewing. I just hold it on and go for it. it on so here's all the cutaways of that this is gonna be so much better it was a little bit too long and that just drives me crazy and uh, I love it feels really nice and it looks good so it worked out <laughs> sometimes you take a risk but that's why I don't mind upcycling things it costs me just a couple bucks because you're like 
what do you got to lose? If anything, you've got more to gain than you've got to lose. And it was totally worth it. So yay, turned out great. I love it. Now I have four nightgowns that I love so much more. I'm actually going to hang it up for the day. That was a great project. Got something checked off my list. Love upcycling. Yeah, tomorrow we have a lot of guest dogs coming. It's going to be a house full of doggies. So I'll be sure to get some clips of them and include a little bit of them in this vlog this week. And then we'll wrap this up because that's about it. It's about all I've got. I need to, I'm really trying to prioritize time off this weekend and just reset for the week. That is the goal. That is the plan. So that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi, welcome to the next day. I had a bit of a headache yesterday, so I uh, had dogs get dropped off, but I just wasn't feeling so great. So I didn't end up vlogging or anything, but right now I'm just getting ready to go pick up some groceries, which is super boring. And today's a rainy Sunday and I have some news and I've been so excited to finally share this so I can finally say it. The video that I have been working on for the past few weeks is live and it's the video I was doing with, um, I was editing for Aaron Parsons. I can't believe it's finally up and people can finally go watch it. So go watch it. I'll have it linked above. I'm so proud of it. And we have some more stuff already in the works that we're talking about. So more stuff to come with Aaron. But yeah, I'm just I'm so proud. I can finally say it. We have the guest dogs here, Lucia and Otis. Lucia is, she just turned one and she's very much a puppy. <laughs> she just peed on my carpet up here. So I had to kick everybody out. Um, she's got some learning to do, but she's so cute and she's such a sweet dog. She's just so nice and loving and just wants everybody to play with her. And, you know, she's just got that kind of puppy brain still where she's just like, Ugh. I change up my brows if you haven't noticed, like how I do them. Sometimes I want to do them really quick. So I just take the microblading pen and just psh, 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 like do it really fast with just some quick hair strokes. That is the fastest. This one's more time consuming because you have to kind of blend it in a little bit more, but it's still, you know, especially because it matches my roots. Speaking of which, I'm going to update my hair next week. I feel like my hair looked like absolute crap in this video and I'm trying not to put heat on them. So if you can't tell, looking back on the video from like when I went to Trader Joe's, think it to me, I just look unstyled and that's just not me, you know? I mean, I was just running errands. It's like not a big deal, but I was trying so hard to just let my hair live its life. And I've been putting a lot of hair oils in it and taking a lot of hair treatment stuff. I want to put my extensions back in after seeing that. <laughs> I do. Remember that movie poster I made? Sienna, unglued. Will she make up her mind? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to put my extensions back in. I have concluded because this looks good, right? This is cute, but I just washed my hair last night. I braided it and then I just gave it a little extra crimping with the crimping curler just to give it more uh, intentional shape. This will only look cute like this today. And then tomorrow it won't and I'll have to put heat on it again. So when I have extensions, I don't have to do that. I can just braid it and it looks adorable. I've got to go. I've got to go get our groceries. I woke up like, oh no, I don't have like maxi pads and, you know, provisions for periods. I have one pad left. And since we have so many dogs here, I was like, I'll just shop online and go pick it up real quick. That's the, the Gucci one, the rose, what it, yeah, rosewood, just like a quick little lip tint situation. I think, I can't tell which one's my favorite. So if you guys are wondering, here are my three current. I have this Gucci rosewood one. I have my um, mother, stepmother-in-law asked me what this brand was and I realized I didn't really say it. It's called Pixie and it's at Target. And this was the poppy lipstick that I was like gushing over how the packaging was just like speaking to my soul. And they had a red one too, or a pinky one that might look like this. So if you're looking for an affordable option over Gucci, because the Gucci Rose one, the packaging in general is just so stunning. Stunning! <laughs> I loved editing that part, by the way. I already edited that and I was cracking up, but it looks like this and it's just a really nice chapstick kind of look on the lip. That's, I think, my favorite one, just color wise. And then the Chanel one, that more of a ready, here, I'll put them next to each other actually so you guys can see. So this is the Poppy, this is the Gucci, and then this is the Chanel. 
So as you can see, Chanel is a little bit more of a pinky, orangey red. This is definitely a more purpley, which I think I prefer on myself. And I also do like this orangey color. So I like them all for different reasons. And I think it just ma it just means, you know, depending on what I feel like having that day and what matches my outfit. Yeah, anyway, that's, uh, that's my update. So thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you're not. And I will see you on the next... Oh, and give me a thumbs up because that's always helpful. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! It's true.